John Wanawa here. I'm happy to say I have been to get fish eggs and came back with kinnis. My kinnis for lunch and my brains thrives on kinnis to clear my blood and make me beautiful and shiny sweet. And I got some some mushrooms to fry up with my kinnis here. And they're only a dollar each. Those kinners, one, two, three, four, one, six, seven kinners was ten dollars. So better than going to the beach today, I couldn't. I won't get wet. You see? I got some tomatoes. This is my lunch, a little bit of it. Tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. And I also got some nice fried bread from Toby's. Toby's. Toby's fisheries, got some fried bread, nice to go with kinna and the butter, and a little bit healthy. I've got plenty of oranges over here. Do you see all the oranges? I've got heaps of it. So I have oranges all the time with neck biscuits. So that's my, instead of uh, uh, looking for bread, I just use that with the orange and it goes together. A little bit of salt with the orange. So that's my lunch. And what I want to show you is, I put an article here uh, on for the King William Fork commercial contract hoodie hickory to Morris Baker British CT title, or certificate of title, the deeds of title, okay? So I'm going to swing it around, I'll read it first. Oh, I'll turn around and show, I'll show you. Right there, okay. The British Royal Navy family settled here on the commercial landowner Paramount Chief Hori Tikuri's ancestral native land in Mangungu, where the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi was really signed, where the British Royal family sailed in with the Russell families and Busby families. And my friend Moira Hoffman Russell is certified to certify truthfully an account of this area where she lived all her life and notably Furunaki lowlands. They bought from Hori Tekuri in a 360 degree area of his lands, British titles under his this original 1840 Treaty of Waitangi British title document and not the New South Wales New Zealand 1840 Treaty of Waitangi document at Waitangi Marae where the ship of Admiralty is the New Zealand Navy usurped and faked the British Royal Navy jurisdiction at Mangungu Mission House and Methodist Church on Hori Tekuri and his Tahike Marae Native Magistrate Court, British memorialised um, King William IV Crown Land Patent Native Land sold by its Native Paramount Chief Hori Tekuri to the Busby and Russell families in Hifiranaki under British immigration laws on these lands fixed to this date, Treaty of Waitangi, British UK, King's Flag, Sovereign Authority, Jurisdiction of Referee for Manukau and Rogan at Auckland Awaroa Mag Magistrate Court, Helensville, Moriori, Manukau title to New Zealand and Pacific Islands countries, receipted facts cited evidence. So that's my video. I'm speaking about that. I'll have more videos. There's about 30 or 30 or 40 videos on this subject to wrap it up for good. There's Manahi Mohini. He's the uh, resident uh, Apotoro or minister of the Ratna Church and he practices his uh, church services in the uh, Mangungu uh, Methodist Church. The Ratna Church came out of the Methodist Church. They go hand in hand from this date on this land that belongs to Hori Tekuri. Now, 30 videos uploaded Taheke Marai Hui to Paramount Chief Hori Tekuri and his son Hiramaya and father of Hori Tekuri Ramika transfer title to Lobo Morris Baker of Baker Street, I gave him the name of his street, which is actually Tahike Road. I gave him this song for his uh, Baker Street. Okay, so here is Moria Hoffman. For the evidence for you, 
all you people around the world that here is Moira Hoffman, German, Russell, the first immigrants to this area of Taheke lands belonging to Hori Tikuri, Paramount Chief. She says this, First of all, thank you, John Wanawa. The Russell families love and support you. There. Now, that's coming from her and her families in the Firinaki area of Hori Tikuri, straight from Britain, straight there with the 1840 treaty signed by these wonderful people legally, legitimately, on the land of a paramount chief to all the lands from there, stretching up to Te Reringa Wairua or Cape Ranga, all the way down to join up with Referefa Manikau in Auckland, Awaroa Native Magistrate Court to this Taheke Native Magistrate Court and this Methodist Church and this mission uh, buildings where they signed the 75 chiefs signed their Treaty of Waitangi right here in British Navy jurisdictions as the legitimate partner ship of Admiralty right here, not Waitangi. That's second-hand New South Wales uh, 1840 treaty. They picked up this title here and took it over there and then made their New South Wales Loons Land Information New Zealand titles from this main deed title of Huri Tikuri, transferred from his father Ramika, who was a minister in the Wesleyan Church in Firinaki area with these Russell families and the Busby families, and then <coughs> his son Huri Tikuri, uh, then with the Methodist Church and the time of uh, the Ratna starting up in the little church house that I stayed in with Morris Baker or Pekka uh, on Taheke Road, uh, only uh, 300 metres from the crossing going to um, Dargaville from, Hoke, uh, from um, Kaikohi uh, Township. Okay, so I'm telling you factual evidence that Maura Hoffman here is a direct descendant and a partnership to one Morris Baker or Lobo Morris Baker. Maura is your legal partner, legitimate, authenticated documents of title to Britain direct. So I'm just saying those families in Firinaki are, uh, are um, identifying you as the original immigrants from Britain before the land titles went into these New South Wales fraudulent, corrupted titles and Cook Street titles fraudulently corrupted. The Manukau title, left left the Manukau title, that's why I'm seizing Cook Street on this basis. Now, it's for anybody that should have come up to um, uh, the um, um, Taheke Marae Hui, on the 18th of November 2017, didn't come. All those descendants on that obelisk, they got there offending Morris, and none of them came to speak for their ancestor, Hori Tikuri, because they were at the treaty settlements at Copthorne on a Friday and a Saturday, settling for their New South Wales title and the fraudulent documents and the fraudulent government and its fraudulent court systems and government. So that we're going to bill debt them with the pound note, the Maui pound note, and against all the third party uh, away from this area here and the names I have on those certificates of British title deeds. Okay, so Referef Manukau title deeds and uh, uh, Hori Tikuri uh, British uh, land title deeds are an original big block land all the way right through New Zealand. Those two chiefs take precedence over the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi at Mangungo Mission House. So I'm making this statement publicly on uh, YouTube, 
and as evidence cited fact that we have the right um, um, position of land where a paramount chief to that 1834 flag has the right to use that flag for what it was meant to be for trade, banking, commercial contracts and private business between Morris people, Maura Hoffman, um, Russell, her families in this area and these paramount chiefs and that's it. Everybody else is third party to other tupunas. Uh, Rahiri on the hill further on, that's where this obelisk of Ruka and Birch should be over there because they never came up to this way. It was on the Totoko radio station in Ngāpui and uh, on, on, on the local news up there, um, Taitokoro news uh, papers, uh, and also on Facebook and YouTube, but nobody came to claim. So that makes um, Morris Lobo Baker the incumbent chief of Hori Tikuri's titles and all of his land. He is the incumbent chief paramount to speak for his ancestor and Hori Tikuri's father, Rameka, and Hori Tikuri's son, Hiramaya, where the transfer of title has gone from Hiramaya to Lobo um, Morris Baker. There, so that's what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to show you Maura Hoffman as my friend in Rotorua. I've got videos of her in her house. She uh, let me stay. That's Maura there, and um, that's me there on her side there, right? I'm right there with her. She is my friend, my best friend, and in confidence tells me everything about her ancestors, Russell's there. See, you see? This is real people. You're looking at the truth of the matter, and there I've got it right on her page, and right out in bold. King William IV commercial contract, Hori Tekuri to Morris Baker, British CT, Certificate of Title, Title. Okay, so there's Manahi Mohini confirming uh, that he's uh, all true and correct. First of all, thank you, John Wanoa, the Russell family's love and support you. There we are. They're in Russell, up in Bay of Islands, but this is where the true uh, contract was signed with one paramount chief. There's no contract signed in uh, the Waitangi, Waitangi Treaty Grounds. It's, it's just a token gesture, but no contract with that flag and the mast of the ship flying there. Uh, and so that mast should be up at Taheke uh, Marae. Um, uh, uh, we'll be putting the big flag up there and everything and brighten that place up to be the official uh, uh, land where the treaty was signed. The other one is the New South Wales and they're getting the bill. 970 million trillion trillion pound notes on the Queen's head and all her descendants <coughs> and Iwi Maori gets the bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note <coughs> from me, the sheriff of the county of this Referefa Manikau and the um, Hori Tikuri title uh, to, straight to Britain to Westminster. Now, nobody can go there and talk over this title and the Treaty of Waitangi document. No one really can. Okay, so that's all I want to say about that. And there's Sue and Nakora here with Mora. I took that photo of them together up at Waitangi, uh, trying to identify who's who. There's Sue and Nakora there with her, her friend uh, Mora Hoffman, sort of Russell, and uh, Sue Nakora. Uh, I took those photos of them, and we stayed together in the motel at View Bayview Hotel or a motel in Paihia, uh, up from. Um, o o Opit, opa, um, well, a place over there outside of Paihia. <coughs> it's more a site. I'm just trying to find some other bits. That might be interesting. That's her family. There. That's Mr. Russell himself. Lord John Russell. There we go, people. If you want the facts, there they are. It speaks for itself at... Mangungu Mission House. That's the man there that lived on that land and his descendants lives on that land in Furunaki. 
and have connections to that mission house. Okay? Are you satisfied now there's no argument? And Puraho, you'll have to take that obelisk and put it on Nati Dahiri's Monga up the road four or five k's away from Lobo's uh, memorial to his ancestors. That's, that's an offensive memorial with no dates on it, no reference to any but just a plaque of Birch and Rooker. You'll have to explain to me and Lobo because you have no say in front of him. He has the right to say because he has the British title and he has the native title and the church title to that land and himself as a descendant of Hori Tukuri. That's it. It didn't need to be a native surname. It had to be someone who was knowledgeable, knowledgeable and uh, witness of his own information. Okay? Uh, um, confident witness. Competent witness of his own information. He didn't need a lawyer to gather all the information of all the titles that he got himself from the council and the Maori Land Court. Good for him because I've been through them. <clears throat> it's my job as a Native Land Commissioner of the uh, these chiefs <coughs> and their land to check all titles. Now, all of you people on this side in the Whakameninga, according to Bundy, this doesn't apply. You only have your Whakapapa. And that's not going to win over the people of New Zealand that have laws from international. You'll have to go to the United Nations to get that, and the World Court, and the International Court of Justice, or your Whakapapa is only for you. As far as the government is concerned, in each of every country in this world, and in the international law, the government rules the people, all of the people occupying the land under occupation certificate of titles that without a certificate you can't be identified. So if you're not identified, you're just part of the trees and the bush and the dirt and the deep blue sea. That's about it. Because whoever comes around and talks to you, you can't boot them off the land because they've got a gun to shoot you. All right? That's their law. Gun or hang, rope. King William IV has the right to shoot anybody off the land if they are interfering with a title between a chief, paramount chief, and the King of England, Britain. And I'm talking for the King, alright? No matter what, I'm the King of Commerce and the King of the Sea with titles that I've got signed by myself, Lobo, and Manahi Parapara Mohini. That's the end of it. Okay, so that's a really one of them. I've got about 40 or 50 videos just on that subject. I took a lot of videos and there's plenty to make certain that no way put a hope. Ruka, your, your surname is changed around here, there and everywhere like every other Maori. Name has been changed to fit a false, fake land title that Pody Harris says is bullshit. Rudy Taylor, that's what that's what Pody said in your area, you're full of bullshit and he's right. I'm saying he's right. You are full of bullshit because you've faked the title and you are alien to this King's title with your New South Wales title, you're going to get the bill. All of you lot, well in fact all of you, is going to get the bill. You have to share it because you're, you're holding hands with the devil you know and the devil you don't know. The British is your devil if you're not talking to the British. You can't go to Westminster because we're standing right on your road with this flag and using the flag for its intended purpose, trading, bank, commercial, law, jurisdiction to keep people under control over these lands that you won't have control of. You have no laws on a piece of paper and there you are framing laws, Bundy. You've got it on bits of paper but do not use that book I gave you because it's all online and everybody's looking to see what you're going to do with it. They can pick it out because I disclose everything online so that no one's going to steal it. And I can see hints of you talking about 1834. No one's ever talked about 1834 before this way until now. And you pick that up and you say, the Queen stole it. Now that's you just now. 
you weren't there with the Confederation and Fuckermania and all of those incorporations and everything. I've been there, I've got everything here. I've been in it, Bundy, over 20 years of experience to know native titles, British titles and alienation of land as a native commissioner of lands in this country and the Pacific Island and the world for that matter waiting for Moai and these paramount chiefs not waiting for Maori because your Maori has been homemade, baked as fake titles. And that's what Poroho is doing, faking it with Danny Watson, you follow us? A mischievous thing on that Hori Tukuri's land with that memorial that has no cross on it. It has no cross on it of King George or King William the Fourth. There's no cross on it. It's only got curtains of some sort of cult on that memorial. That's offensive because Hori Tukuri didn't have any of that. He has not any of that. He only had the missionary. He was a Wesleyan missionary, a minister, and the um, um, uh, Methodist Church, the Churches of England, not anything else. If you're putting that thing there with those curtains, nobody knows. You have sneaked it onto in front of Maury <coughs> Lobo Baker. He, he has got the right to, to get a high and lift it off and take it and drop it on Waitangi Marae and pull, pull that mast off and the ship and take it up to Tahiti and put it at Mangungu and on the ground there because Waitangi is corrupted. It's New South Wales and you're going to get the bill. All of you are going to get the bill because you're in a contract with each other. You're in a contract with you looking at the mirror at yourself. Maori in the mirror is the Crown, New South Wales and Queen Elizabeth who's buggered off and left you fellas stranded on dry land, stranded without a pedal. So that's all I want to say um, really. <clears throat> Apart from I'm just drafting a letter to take Cook Street. I'm going to take Cook Street by force of the law of these paramount chiefs. Hori Tukuri and Refa Refa Manigal will seize that Cook Street land because they haven't got the title of Refa Refa Manigal on it and yet there's the receipt that you're looking at, Bundy, and you signed it. You blindfoldly signed it. Blindfoldedly signed it. You and Hedda when he signed it <coughs> and said you're there to support me. No, you weren't. You were signing it to stick yourself in both camps, the British camp and your New South Wales camp. You can't do that, Bundy. The law forbids you from playing around with this flag when you can't say to me what it's for. You said it's for recognising your sovereignty. Well, you're sovereign. We're all sovereign. Sovereign means I was here, I didn't see you around. That's what Hori Takuri said. I was here, I didn't see you around when these people came here and landed on my piece of land and signed a treaty with me. And my descendants are saying the same thing. Right? Um, Hedemeyer says the same thing. And now Bun uh, Lobo, Morris Baker, says the same thing. You landed on my piece of land and made a deal with me, not, not anybody else. Everything else that made a deal after it is not British. It's New South Wales, the thugs and pirates that the British sent the convicts to Australia. That's you lot over here. That's going to get the bill for everything that's gone wrong. We're going to bill you and make you pay rent to Lobo and money for the Manukau, Referef Manukau's title. He's there as a direct descendant to the Moriori. Um, Trust. I'm the executor of that trust, the Moriori Manukau Trust, and I'm the executor for any other documents from Britain under the Moai statue there of the Pacific Islands discovery title and also St Mary's Church. I'm there for St Mary's Church in Tikitiki, -tiki, 1831, death, birth and marriage certificate. Instruments on the stock market, we're going to rip off them and make them pay for that. And I'm the surrogate for the St. Patrick's Church, eight point star municipality that John Key's wearing over here. I'm going to strip him and everybody that's wearing it if they can't show me their deed titles with their name on it to this eight point star St. Patrick in Belfast, where he's buried in Down Patrick, on my ancestor Rogan and Cosgrove coat of arms land.
you'll have to talk to me about that because I'm in charge of that too. And the Moai <coughs> Crown Bank, the judgment creditor against you lot of thugs on the judgment debtors. Put up, you're a judgment debtor with that memorial, offensive memorial, on top of the hill with all the whakapapa on. You take it to the whakapapa, Urupa, on the other side, on the other moment with Ria Rahiri. You, you're going to take it to the chief Rahiri because he's got no commercial titles. That's where that belongs. It's not commercial. That's what you, you people must get in your thick heads. You Maoris are a homemade tribe made by Pakia plasticine. Right? They fashioned it themselves and put a mirror on it, stuck it to it, and looked at themselves as you. That's your title over here with the Queen. And Poroho, you're saying don't say that about the Queen. That's your Queen, mate. She's left you. She's buggered off and left you with fuck all. She's gone overseas, taken the money into Brussels under King William III, which is our partner, the Dutchman. Right? And you and your scrolls and everything, Muslim or whatever, Buddha or anything, is offensive on Hori Tukuri's land with Lobo. What Lobo tells me goes. I make the rulings. I made the rulings in that Marae, without you lot, because you didn't bother to come, you didn't think it was anything relevant. Hori Tukuri's grave stone is covered in moss, it's not, nobody's looking after it. We're going to look after it. Wait and forget, spray and walk away. There. And make it shine again. And we'll be honouring him from now on as British contract. Nobody's business. That's it. We take all the land back. The Russells, the Wainors, the Mohinis, the Paraparas, Lobo and his bakers from Baker Street in Tahege. I won't call it Tahege Street. I call it Baker Street. I'm going to change the name. Right? And, <coughs> and this title that was signed by the 75 chiefs over there, in that sense, that why is that memorial there? It's because it's got more going for it than Waitangi. Uh, all, all the chiefs are on that Marae, uh, Taheke, and on Taheke Road, and on, on the Mangungu land block belonging to Morris Baker. All that land is Morris Baker speaking for Hori Tikuri and nobody else spoke for him on that day we had to leave. The 11th of November 2017 was the Memorial Day uh, anniversary of Refere for Monica and Rogan Sale and Purchase Agreement. On the 11th of November 2017 we had a hui in Te Oma Marae dating back to the 11th of November, 1862, as the New Zealand Native Land Act, 1862, formed by the Rafaela for Manukau and Rogan back to King William IV, 1834, Declaration of War Flag. That's the contract. That contract was made to sell the land from Rafaela to Rogan, which was already sold by Tito Waikato, Wharehere Manukau, and William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy in Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, Scotland, with a book just like what I've got there, The Instructions for the Flag of Commerce, Bundy. That's what that flag is for. It's not for anything else. The King gave the King's flag for the King's Royal Revenue business to collect the rent of the land leases that people enjoy more than others with the money they're making from the land and all its natural resources. And you told me and the world that it's not about money. Well, you don't deserve any of the money that I'm going to get because I'm there as a real estate money machine. Right? Because that flag is a money machine flag to sail around the world free passage to make money off people that are occupying King's title lease lands. I thought you would have known that, but you fellows are so thick that you only think about Whakapapa. Whakapapa is one thing. 
Yeah. You're going to get the land back by a whakapapa. You're going to need a lot of muskets for that in the musket law. That's all the law that Hongi Hika's got. He went with Tera Waikato Wharehere in Manuka, but he was only interested in shooting people off the land. The British way. Okay? The British way. He didn't sign any contracts, Bundy. So that means you've got no contract. And that's why you're only talking Whakapapa. Everybody's got a Whakapapa. Pakeha's got a Whakapapa. They've got a Whakapapa on this land that's been sold to them legally by a paramount chief. Now show me your paramount chief that sold a piece of land. Why are you stealing the land off Lobos up on Tahike above Tahike Marae? Why, why are you a lot of people, thugs I call it, stealing the land off them, then making another title in the New South Wales, and then all of a sudden you say, oh, hell let loose, oh, I spit the dummy, I want my money back. Well, it's a bit fucking late for that. You want your money back after you've enjoyed all of the spoils of what that did. These thugs over here had the right to go and thug you lot and steal everything off you because you can't stop them. You got settled. Most of the people in the Iwi Maori have settled your Maori claim. The Maori word belongs here with you, Bundy, and you're supporting a Maori government. It's nothing to do with this side, the Moai King William Fall Trust and the Russell family and the Busby family on their side with us. We are looking at you, asking you, where did you get your authority from to get your car and your house and the groceries from the grocery store? If you want your way of doing things, the fuck up way, you'll have to grow your own vegetables for your own self, nobody else, because no one's going to buy them. They're just for you on your little bit of land. You can't take the whole land back, Bundy, because you'll have to buy it back off them. That's quite impossible without money. What are you going to... You're going to trade potatoes and marry kumaras and uh, and and pedal pedals? No, it's not going to work, buddy. You'll have to you'll have to think of something better than that. You have to. The people have moved on. They're not stuck in the old world where you're gone with this. You'll have to hard sell it to people in this country. I'm not here for just Maori. I'm here for everybody, buddy. I'm here for everyone. I'm not here for myself. I'm going to live in Philippines with my new wife. I don't need to be here. I can be in any of this country with the flats gone. I can drop in any of those countries and park myself anywhere. I don't have to be stuck up there in Mangamuka when Oneroa says, Oh John, you, you won't come up here and say that. You know what, Oneroa? The British will say it. I just need to give them instructions for me who holds these documents. That's what Bundy don't like, documents. And you fellas don't like documents because, as far as I'm concerned, that's what built this world up, documents. You haven't got documents, I'm sorry, they're going to just bulldoze you over. With the land or what? They'll just take it. You know why? I can't even stop them. The Freemasons, all those people, they use their power of technology and knowledge to shake this whole bloody earth and shake you off the land. They'll soon get you off. They'll cause lightning and every other thing to flood you up and drown you and make this earth go down. You know, they'll make a big hole right right through the place. And that's technology for you. Okay? I'm in that field. I'm in the technology field. You'll notice on one of my one hundred and six Facebook sites a bit about spaceships. That's me and East Island, the spaceships on the rocks. That's me. It's in my blood. That's why I'm doing energy projects to make our own self-independence. Uh, you go and do your own thing because you've cut yourself off. You, you can stay, you're not getting this power, no. That's for sure. You're going to get your own money. I know who's who's on their side. You're all settled, your contract, you're settled. You can't get any more out of it. And as far as I'm concerned, everybody stays on the land from anywhere. They stay on the land because they're going to occupy the title from here and the Paramount Chief, where it was in the first place. It's not going to have some more new faces that just turned up out of nowhere claiming to be everything. Right? That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm going to enjoy my kinos because uh, my brain is hungry for something to make it click and go flat out. Okay? So, thank you very much. Today is Tuesday, Wednesday, the uh, 22nd of November 2017. I'm going to enjoy my lunch and we'll see you later. Bye.